Hi friends, welcome back to another Mina Monday. This week I thrifted my mom's closet. So basically her and I are very similar in our sizes. Um, she just has a little bit more going on up here and I have a little bit more going on back there, but that's the only difference. And so her pants and stuff tend to be a little bit smaller on me and her shirts tend to be a little bit big on me, just a little bit, but for the most part they work the same. So since I can't go thrifting, I decided I just kind of thrift out of the closet. Before I started the video, I just wanted to say thank you so much, Mom, for letting me steal your old clothes. I'll put them to good use and take care of them. So starting off with bottoms, the first thing I got was this leather, well, faux leather skirt. It's really cute. It has this detailing right here. I don't know. I think it's really cute. I don't think it's very trendy right now, but I think it's something that's pretty classic and can be used like any time and we'll just be seeing it's kind of being classy, I feel like. I thought the perfect way that I could style this skirt was with this snakeskin pattern tank top I have with this really adorable lace detailing as well as with these cool sunglasses. I don't know, it gives me kind of like a cool vibe I feel like and it's like very natural neutral colors. Um, the second thing I got was this denim skirt. Actually my other denim skirt is also from her from Gap Jeans and it's size zero and I'm not typically a size zero but it fits. I ended up styling it with this really cute tube top you'll see later on in the video and I'm excited to see what else that I can pair with it. I also got these pants from her. They're kind of like obviously more like businessy pants. They have this kind of checkered or like gingham. I'm not even exactly sure what pattern but they have a pattern to them. And I think that these would also be really good as just Something that I could wear with like a basic tank top or something like that with a nice jacket. I also really like these with this cool sunglasses. I think it fits the vibe. Because um, I know that Urban Outfitters has been selling a lot of like plaid pants and things like that. And then I got these really loud pants from my mom. Um, I actually already tried these on though. And it's kind of sad because they do not fit. But I think they're really cool. Like they're kind of one of those pieces that you're like I either love it or I hate it. You know? And I think that when I first saw this, like a long time ago, I hated it. But right now, I love it. Also, there's people doing landscaping and stuff outside. Um, so please don't mind that. Next, I'm going on to coats. This is actually one of my favorite things I've ever like thrifted for my mom. It's really cute. It's like this like light pink, potentially almost beige um, coat. And I don't know if it's velvet but it's kind of like soft and so cute it's like a blazer but not i don't really know um but yes this is super cute and she wore this when she was in her 20s so i had to show it so again this jacket really could go with anything it's so cute it just makes anything look girly and put together i put it with these skinny jeans and this really cute sparkly barrette but i also love wearing it with dresses because it's just like the perfect length where all my dresses like just go past it a little bit so like you can see them peeking out if I have it buttoned up which is super cute and now you can just see how happy it makes me that I like to like want to dance in it it's so cute and then I got this denim jacket it's actually like a denim trench coat it's so long and I don't know what I'm gonna wear this with but I think it's really cool it'd be a really cool piece to wear like into the city especially Portland I think this would really vibe well with some of the pieces I have, especially Doc Martens. Like I said, my Docs would be so cute with this. I'm actually wearing this with those pants that I showed you guys earlier, and I am wearing a black turtleneck underneath. I think that this is just so cool. Like, it's just a cool vibe. Like, it makes me think about K street fashion, like Korean street fashion. That is the vibes I'm getting, and I'm living for it. Oh my gosh. The only time that my house is quiet so that I can film is when the people outside are doing loud things. <laughs> okay, so this coat has also already made her debut, but I also had to share her because I think she is gorgeous. Has this faux fur, faux fur detail and she's just like, I feel like super regal when I wear this. I just really had to share this too because I love this coat. How I would normally style this jacket is with my mom jeans and my black turtleneck or like a tank top underneath if it's not that cold of a day. As you can see, black turtlenecks are kind of a staple in my wardrobe. 
But yes, I think it just looks so put together like New York Queens. Next, I have this tube top. So actually, I feel like this could be very Y2K if I just crop it or if there is actually a picture of me in fifth grade wearing this to like a decade stance and I wore a white tank top underneath and like a denim jacket on top and my hair like we spray painted part of it pink. So this kind of, whenever I see this, it reminds me of that and I think that like Y2K style is coming back and this would be so cute if I could make it more Y2K. Again, you see me wearing the denim skirt here, but I think this would also be cute with my mom jeans. Maybe some other skirts that I might be buying soon. Who knows? I'm not sure, but I think it's really cute. And then I also just took these tank tops from her. I'm probably going to do some of those TikTok DIY trends with them. So I might do that with this one and with this one. And then she also has these cable knit chunky turtlenecks that I love. Some people have, might have already seen these too. Um, I think they're really cute. This one's in black and this one's in red. And I actually wore this for Christmas this year because I just felt like so festive in it. Here's a quick close up of the black one. I, this one I tend to wear more often, but I love how you can see the cable knit detailing and how I can either fold it down so it covers less of my neck or if it covers more, which is really nice as well. Of course, I love to wear these with my mom jeans. Reminds me of some kind of 90s vibe, I'm not sure, or like a friends vibe. I feel like a lot of friends inspired outfits look kind of like this. I think it's really cool, basic, and such like that. And then next is these bags. So this is actually what I call my vintage Gucci because this was my mom's old Gucci purse. Um, I'm not sure where she got it or how, but it's super cute, like the subtle, I feel like it's pretty subtle Gucci design, like people don't see this and probably won't think that it's Gucci, but I think it's really cute and just like, I don't know, again, I feel like this is kind of like classy style, but like it looks pretty casual because of how like worn out it looks, I feel like, because this color just makes it look more casual than it actually is, if that makes sense. And then this one is Fendi. This is very also early 2000s style because, you know, it's like that small purse that girls wore like this. So I'm excited to take this out too um, when I'm able to actually leave the house. Um, I think this would be really cute with my new chunky filas. And I don't know what else, but I just do, I know what shoes I'm going to wear with this because like the navy blue detailing and the white, just so cute. Also, I like to wear gold jewelry and this matches that. And most of the bags and like belts and things I have have silver accents, but when I get to wear my gold accents, this was perfect. And then for shoes, we have these old Banana Republic heels, which are super cute. She had them in like a cute green as well as a gold, so I also took the gold ones. These were actually made in Brazil, and I wore these for Easter when I dressed up, and I thought they were super duper cute. And then she has these like Mary Jane styled shoes. I honestly cannot picture her ever wearing these. I feel like these are so out of her style, but I'm glad she has them. Um, the only thing I don't really like is the bottom, like the heel kind of, it's not like it doesn't go straight down. It kind of, I don't know, it's the side part. It's kind of weird to me, but the front is cute. So, and then we have these strappy black heels. I don't know. I think these are still early 2000s, maybe late 90s. I feel like strappy high heels were like a thing then. And I think this is super cute as well. And it's like, another, another thing that I feel like I could wear, like, I don't know, to be like, it just feels like something that's almost timeless, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so I don't wear heels that much, but I do think that these shoes are super cute. And when I want to take pictures or just like, I guess, go out and like dress up a little bit more, then I will definitely wear them. Yeah. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know that there's lots of online thrift stores also that you can look at if you can't thrift out of your mom's closet. But I thought this would just be something fun to do because my mom and I are essentially the same size. Also, I've been doing a lot of orders from Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Not my best moment, but it's been fun. Um, I actually got this shirt and these clips. So if you want to see more of what I bought, let me know because I think hauls are really fun to do and I love watching them so please let me know if you'd like to see that 
and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week and that everyone in your life, including you, is staying happy and healthy. Bye!